Hi guys, it's the overall art teacher. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make your very own felt board. Materials for today, you are going to need a frame. Mine is an eight by 10 frame. I found it at the local dollar store for $2. Make sure that it has a backing that can be removed. You will see why later. You're also gonna need an assorted color of felt. I found these for 33 cents at our local craft store. Um, if you are a teacher, please make sure that you check your school catalog. I know that you want to buy them on your own for convenience sake, um, but I think that when I was a teacher, I could get an assorted pack of a hundred different colors for like 17 bucks, which is pretty good. Um, so go ahead and make sure that you check. Remember to try to plan out some of your things in the beginning of the year so that you can order them before, before school starts and you don't even have to worry about it. Anyways, um, you're also going to need a glue gun and then some handy dandy scissors. Um, I also have a Sharpie marker. Um, you can use any kind of marker. Just make sure that um, you give it a little test on some felt beforehand um, just to make sure that it, it works correctly. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to remove the glass um, from our frame. So I'm going to go ahead and take out actually going to take out the glass and a little paper thing um so then i just have my cardboard backing and my frame so i want my background color to be white so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to cover this in white and now because i just want it to be nice and smooth i'm just going to do four little dots on the corners with my glue gun. Don't need a lot, just kind of want to hold it in place when it's being nice and smooth. Okay, so then it looks like this. And as you can see, a little bit kind of comes off the edge. I could have done a better job at lining that up. So here we are. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my scissors and go and trim off the excess. Okay, so once we have our blank felt canvas, now we are going to take our colored pieces of felt and we're going to create whatever kinds of pieces that you want. Um, think of it almost like a puzzle though. You don't want to make things like too specific. Um, you kind of want generic pieces that can all fit together into one cohesive piece at the end. I really think that I am going to do a summer, spring, winter, fall, um, starting with summer because we're in summer right now. Um, and then moving on throughout the seasons, I'm going to switch them out so that my daughter can create the different scenes. Now, if you are in school, it's really fun to use a book um, if you're going to do something like this, where you can create the scenes or the characters in the book and then have students create them on here. Um, you could also have them create things together in a project, um, but this is all going to be something that you can pull back off and restart again. So it's kind of a reusable resource for them. Another great way to use this would be in a what to do when you're finished corner. Um, so in my classroom, I used to have centers that they could go and choose from whenever they were done with something and maybe the other students were not finished with those um, tasks that I had assigned to them. So they could come over here and they can create something, but you're not making waste and you're able to reuse um, and kind of recycle those materials. So. I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting things. Um, one more tip before I start like just diving in here. I happen to have like just a whole bunch of cookie cutters. Um, I used to use them in my class a lot for kids to like stencil and free draw and stuff like that. So I'm going to help myself to these and I'm going to use them to trace on my felt just to make it a little easier on myself. Now some things I might just do free handed like organic shapes like grass and stuff like that but if you have cookie cutters this is a great time to pull them out i think i got this bucket for like i want to say like seven dollars on amazon and it was like a hundred 
different pieces. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and then I'll show you guys what I have in a minute. Okay guys, so I just cut up a bunch of pieces. Now this could be spring um, or summer, I think. I know I said I was doing summer, but I think it could be either one. Um, so after everything was done, I cut out some small pieces here. Um, and then I also cut out some larger pieces that just fit across my board. And I'm going to show you guys what I came up with. So here is our final result. I did some larger pieces for the background and some smaller pieces for details. Um, and the nice thing about felt is that it stays on for the most part um, so they can come show you what they made and then take everything off and start all over with a new picture. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. See you next time.